You're watching when keeping it real goes wrong. What is gravity? We have no idea. Okay, next question. <laughs> wow. No, here's the difference. We can describe gravity. Okay. We can say what it does to other things. We can we can measure it, predict with it. But when you start asking like what it is, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> And all of that happened in a little town called York, Maine, across the United States from where we're talking to you right now. And across the United States from where we're talking to you right now. Across the United States from where we're talking to you right now. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Tell us about the landing. In short, it looked extremely clean. We touched down in conditions that were um, on the more benign side of our nominal expectation. This is preliminary data scooped with the sieve in the cacophony of the control, control room. Very nominal. Uh, remarkably good. Uh, um, our navigation error was, uh, was on the low side of our expectation. Uh, so, uh, it looked good. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. Um, unfortunately, I'm not an astronaut. <laughs> I've never been to space. But I've looked at these images over and over again, trying to sort of get the essence of it. It is photoshopped, but it's it has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's it has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's it has to be. How do we know the Earth is not flat? We don't. It's flat. When you look out at the Earth, especially when you're in space for long periods of time, there's a couple of things that uh, I think about. One is the atmosphere looks incredibly flat, fragile. Looks incredibly flat. Looks incredibly flat. Why has nobody been to the moon in such a long time? <laughs> That's not uh, an eight-year-old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know, but I think I know. Because we didn't go there, and, and that's the way it happened. Because we didn't go there. Because we didn't go there. Because we didn't go there. You have a whole series of O-rings in here and a shaft that you rotate. So, I mean, like on the space station, how many of these would you have? Uh, seven, because we have seven windows. What happens if you get a leak on that? Um, then you have a leak. You just have a leak. And, and, and what you would do you is... You lose air. Yeah, you would probably seal the whole cupola off and then... Uh, there's probably a plan, I don't know off the top of my head, but there's probably a plan for replacing the, the mechanism. For the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology, destroyed that technology, and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. And uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. The, the only limit to human future is in our own imagination. To human future is in our own imagination. You have stolen my spirits completely. It's such a rush.